let's take a look at the Intel's Core i3 5010U, the latest Broadwell U series, which is an ultra low voltage series. And these are basically 15 watts processors designed for uh, ultra mobile notebooks. And uh, what, what this Broadwell does is it reduces the Manu it improves the manufacturing process from 22 nanometers to 14 nanometers. We have FinFET technology that not only reduces the distance between the nodes, but it also takes a smaller space for a given number of uh, number of nodes or number of the uh, fats that's used to manufacture the process. So Broadwell basically also has an improved branch prediction. We have a uh, larger buffer size and it also introduces a new uh, instruction set for cryptography. Uh, all these things will lead to about a 5% performance improvement for the same clock uh, frequency. So coming back to Core i3-5010U. As we know, it does not support turbo clock. It's a two core and four hyper threads processor, similar to its predecessor in Haswell. But you get, uh, of course, an improved, uh, slightly improved processor performance for the given clock frequency. Um, as we said, it's a 15 watts processor and it's uh, very good for um, small and thin laptops. And as you will see, that it Broadwell also comes with significantly improved uh, um, graphics performance. So even though the processor performance improvement is only 5-6%, the graphics performance improvement is substantial. Uh, we do not yet have the data for the benchmarking. It, the processor is expected to launch early next year, sometimes in January 2015, but we can no, pretty much sure that it's it's what it is. It's five percent processor improvement. As we said, the graphics uh, it's for the first time it will support DisplayPort in 1.2. We'll have support for DirectX 11.2. So the new games can that support or runs on DirectX 11.2 can take advantage of it. With this improvement, we should see that most of the games it should be playable in low or medium settings. Uh, one of the reasons it's 5500 is better than Haskell for 4400. It's more execution units compared to the Haskell 4400, and its uh, performance per unit also improved. You also expect it to perform better than HD 5000. It has more execution units, but the HD graphics 5000 has a better performance per unit. So, for example, uh, if you compare it with S Haskell 4120, which is 2 GHz processor, we should see 10% performance improvement, 5% of it coming from the increase in the clock frequency from 2 to 2.1 GHz, another 5% from the improvement in the processor performance. So, that's what it is in nutshell, the new Broadwell processor. It's definitely uh, good for uh, enthusiasts and gamers for low cost gaming while keeping your uh, processors slim. Uh, the information, most of the information that we have is from uh, this slide that Intel that has been leaked. Uh, we can see that it's a uh, 5010U, the 2.1 GHz, 2 core. Uh, Four hyper threads. It comes with HD graphics 5500. The clock frequency being 300 at the base and 900 turbo. So even though the processor itself does not support the turbo clocking, the HD graph, the graphics integrated graphics does. It comes with 3 MB of the LC cache, similar to what we had in earlier Haswell processor. The package is not. We have a BGA package, so you cannot remove this processor from the motherboard. 
it's soldered directly to the motherboard hope you find this helpful thanks for taking a look